Today we will be finishing the very first Star Wars modular as part of the brand new Star Wars World mock which is the old Lego city of course I'm talking about Taylor Town. This first modular is based off Tatooine and next week you'll get a sneak peek into what I'll be working on next month but let's get straight into it and take a look at the three buildings we have so far. So for any of you that are new to this series we started off at the start of the month this has been going every Thursday in July and we started off with the Moss Isley Cantina which you can see just there at the bottom and then moved on to the Lars homestead specifically based around Luke's room with a younger Luke from the Kenobi show and then last week we worked on Watto's wares which is Watto's shop from the Phantom Menace and as you can see it's a bit dark now that I've opened up that wall so I definitely want to be getting some LEDs to put in there and brighten it up at some point but that'll probably come once I've finished tearing down all these other buildings around Tatooine Tower and replacing them with ones based off the Star Wars world but today we're first going with the final floor of this which of course is going to be centered around Jabba's Palace. I couldn't think of a more iconic Tatooine location and you might remember last week any of you that did watch the video that I am switching up how I'm connecting these rather than having stud connectors between the two. I've got some plates that just wedge themselves in the next layer down and hold them in place and I have gone around and switched up a few of these older buildings to have the exact same four corner plates on the corner and they just slot in to the fully told off base below it which is so much easier to pull them out and put them back in. So far I've only done these two tiles on the left but probably some point after this video between now and next week I'll do the same to the other side and it means they can just pop off so easily and that's what's enabled me to slot the roof in every other next floor without having to peel it off because of some studs have remained. But now let's look at the fully built Jubba's Palace. So it was really hard building Jubba's Palace without a Jubba the Hut big fig. And actually I've just realized something. If you haven't already noticed, these bars on the end here are completely different heights. So I will fix that next time I cut the video. But instead I've whacked Boba Fett in there and Boba's happy, he's sitting enjoying life. You've got Han Solo on one side and then you've got Han Solo on the other side as well. So he's got two Han Solos. The best feature of these Han Solos is the fact that you can get a minifigure in them even when they're in this modular building. And there is a clip holding them in at the top. They are filling this gap on the wall, which is really handy because it means I've still got a few of these bricks left over. Once again, we've got the arch at the front. Originally, I built this arch with Boba Fett in front of the arch. So the arch would have been just back here. And that's why there's so many brick pieces here. It was easier to rebuild this with bricks than it was to try and find more of these lighter tan pieces. But I realized that's at the back. You're not going to see anything through here unless you're hiding behind my unit, which hopefully none of you are. And looking through it from the front, you're just going to see the claret wall. It didn't look as good as I wanted it to. So I instead put it to the front and you can see even with both my lights on, it's really, really dark in there. So we are going to have to look at getting some lights for the Lego City. But that is another feature. There's a few features actually, such as the fact that Boba can slide all the way forward, concealing the trap door below and I think it's better to look with the other modular levels. So we're starting off with Moss Isley, we've then got Luke's room in the Lars homestead, Watto's wares and finally Jabba the Hutt's palace and again definitely going to need some lights in there and actually I'll probably end up opening this window at some point and potentially hinging the door so we can have that open as well so that we can see in all floors of this but you'll notice that if I lift up this dome on the roof, we can get a minifigure in there. So for this demonstration, we will be taking Boba Fett out of his palace, off his throne. And there is another feature in here which enables you with this handle, this arch is used as a handle to push it back and you can reveal a trap door, which has two ways of activating it. You can either push someone on it and hopefully you can kind of see through there the trap doors opening into Watto's apartment. I don't know if you can get a look. There you go. You can just see the tips of my fingers through that trap door. But 
with the roof on there is another hole in the center i haven't tried this before hopefully this works it is a shame about the lights perhaps i can angle it towards one of my lights so you can get a better look but if i were to drop boba fett right in the top here he will fall straight through get a little stuck and then fall through onto watto's shop which i think is really really cool it reminds me of the sand crawler as well where they go up the chute and just land in the pile of other droids so it's a fun feature that you probably won't see when this is sat in the city slash star wars world i call it a star wars world in the title because it is Star Wars themed. It's getting less Lego City and more Lego Star Wars world. And I'm really enjoying all these open spaces to see into each of these modulars. So that's definitely going to be something that I include a lot more going forward. But now let's get this into the city and wrap up the video. And finally, we have a first iteration of a complete city. You can see we have one, two, three, four, five five finished modular towers we have the friends tower we have the lego tower lego store on the bottom then we've got some sort of unfinished museum and emmett building his way at the top we then have the animal tower and then the i think it was originally the superhero food tower and then we just put emmett's floor on top of that as well and i am trying out some new lights it's lit up quite well for me so I don't know why it's not coming across on the camera but there is an issue with a new Tatooine tower and that is on the top here we've had to remove the giant dish it didn't fit with the unit so I could flip it upside down or try and lower it and get it in at an angle I think it looks good enough as is there's a tiny hole on the top but you can't really see it. the camera can't even pick it up it can't go any higher than the tower so i think it looks good enough to keep and we will be replacing first up these two on the left i don't know which one i'm going to get rid of first or if i'm just going to go and get rid of both of them but before we start next month's tower next week we will be finishing up the pavements and just getting it looking a bit more polished than it does right now with all the studs showing i don't have enough tiles to cover the whole thing but if we can make a start and put some more plates down to at least get in the same level and perhaps even start building some houses to fill the bottom of this side over here as we have the tunnel and the lo-fi girl apartment on the right we really need something on the left but if you're enjoying taking the city and transforming it into a star wars world be sure to drop a like on this video and check out all the other videos on screen now may the bricks be with you always.